Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes we can use a different trick to find the power series of a function such as f of x equals 1 over the quantity 1 minus x squared. We can use the differentiation. In other words, we know that 1 over 1 minus x squared is equal to the derivative of 1 over 1 minus x. If you're not sure, let's go ahead and do that. We'll take the derivative of this. Since it's a quotient, we take the denominator, 1 minus x, times the derivative of the numerator, which is 0, minus the numerator, which is 1, times the derivative of the denominator, which is minus 1, all divided by the denominator squared, which is 1 minus x quantity squared. And then when we simplify that, notice we get 0, minus times the minus is plus, or 1 over 1 minus x quantity squared, which shows that the derivative of 1 over 1 minus x is equal to the function that we started with, which means we can then start with finding the power series of this, then take the derivative of that power series, which then will give us the power series of this. Let me show you what I just said. We're going to say that 1 over 1 minus x is equal to, and of course we already know that because that's the starting point of many power series, in this case a geometric series where the constant equals 1, it is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus so forth, which means that the function now we're trying to define as a power series, f of x, which can be written as the derivative the d dx of 1 over 1 minus x, because we already established that the derivative of this is equal to the, is equal to the original function, and that means that the derivative of this power series, 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus so forth, will then be the function written as a power series which means that the function f of x, which is equal to 1 over the quantity 1 minus x squared, is going to be equal to the derivative of this. The derivative of 1 is 0, the derivative of x is 1, so this becomes 1 plus, the derivative of this would be 2x plus, the derivative of that would be 3x squared plus 4x cubed plus 5x to the fourth power plus and so forth. So you can see that Yes, indeed, we can write many functions, including this one, as a power series. And this is indeed a true power series, because notice that the constants do not remain the same, they change, and so this is really what we call a power series, not a geometric series. And that's how it's done.